You'll want to exit the freeway, that is the 5 freeway, at Sand Canyon exit, just past the underpass, almost almost under the underpass, but just past it, you'll make your turn to go into the Great Park. And this feels like it's sort of a, a winding road to take you in, but just stay on it and you'll be going the right direction. We missed our turn once we were inside the park, so we took the long circuitous route to get over to the balloon. Good morning. Good morning. May I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. How do we get to the balloon? To the balloon? So what you guys want to do is go back out this way, make a right. Oh. When you get to Marine Marine Way, make another right. Then just follow the signs. Marine you know? Way. Yeah. Okay. Just follow your signs into uh, into the park to Lot 3. Okay. You park in Lot 3, the balloon's right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Once we stopped and got some great directions, it didn't take us too long to make our way back over to the actual spot where the balloon and parking and the visitor center and a few other things were located. So make sure you look for Marine Way. That's the road we should have turned on. When you arrive, you'll want to go over to the visitor center because you need to make your reservation for riding the balloon and you want to make sure that the same day you also fill out your waiver. I had gone online beforehand and filled it out only to get there and be told, no, it has to be done the same day. There are just a few rules to riding the balloon, but it's pretty much for everyone. As a matter of fact, you can even bring your dog as long as the dog is leashed. They start taking reservations a half an hour before the rides begin, and you just wait for them to send you a text. And once you get that text, you head on over to where the boarding area is at. But while you are waiting, there is plenty to do and see and walk around and really just enjoy this side of the park. The Great Park is located on the former El Toro Marine Corps Air Station. It's quite large. It covers 1,300 acres. The Great Park balloon is not a hot air balloon. It is a helium balloon and it is tethered at all times. It's the first of its kind in the United States and it's free to ride. The balloon goes up 400 feet and you can see up to 40 miles on a clear day. Once you are on the walk path of the balloon, there are little areas where you stand. There's not a lot of moving around allowed. So when you position yourself, you'll be seeing that particular view. It's not like you're gonna walk all the way around to the other side. And for me, I just wanted to make sure the sun was behind me for filming purposes. The balloon ride is closed Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And when it is open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there are daytime rides and then it's closed for a few hours and then they take it up again at night. So this is something that would be fun to do for the family during the day, have a picnic and really enjoy the day. I also think that it would make a really fun date. There are plenty of places to eat in the area and this is something that, well, you just don't do every day, right? So great date. If you're not familiar with the city of Irvine, it might be to your advantage to look at a map ahead of time because there's no one telling you what you're looking at. Clearly, you can see this is part of the Great Park, but beyond that, where you're seeing the city, I'm, I wasn't even sure what I was looking at. I could tell where the freeways were, but that was about it. So you may want to look at the lay of the land before you get up there. We did have someone with us who works for the park and they were in charge of the balloon, but they weren't giving out any information. So Renee and I are up, up and away. We are in the balloon today. <laughs> Perfect day in Orange County. Snow on mountains. Yeah, what a view, huh? The ride lasts 15 to 20 minutes, and it, of course, will depend on the weather. So on windy days, they will not be taking the balloon up, and on just inclement weather days. So be advised before you arrive and Thanks. try to do a balloon ride. But it sure is fun and something different. 
Now that we had our feet back on the ground, we decided to take some time to do the walkable historical timeline. It's easy to do. It's 2,604 feet long, and it guides you through 162 significant historical events. There is a guide that you can get. You can either download it ahead of time or borrow one of the booklets from the Visitor Center. And since we didn't really plan on doing it, we just did it at the last minute, we did not go get the guide, but I kind of wish we did. It's interesting to see when you're just walking through, it's the highlights, but I think the guide would add a lot more to it. And when we go back, we will get the guide. This would make a great place for a field trip for a group of kids, or if you're homeschooling, another great addition to their curriculum. We cover a lot of ground here. This is the best history lesson we've had in a long time. Now, this is modern. 1500s are modern. same area is the 38-foot hand-painted carousel, formerly at Fashion Island. You will need to have a waiver for this, but if you have already signed one for the balloon, it will suffice. I hope you've enjoyed seeing and hearing all about the Great Park, the balloon ride, and some of the other features, and I hope this inspires you to get out and do something fun. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't, and share this. You know someone who is looking for something out of the ordinary. I think they will enjoy the Irvine Great Park. See you next week. Bye.